All right, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to mean center continuous variables and test an interaction term in a moderated uh, regression analysis in SPSS. So the first thing we need to do is to, uh, well, in this data set, we're going to use uh, number of children and number of pets. We're going to assume that those are reasonably continuous, and we're going to mean center them and use them to predict uh, let's say uh, the stress scale variable. So first step is we need to find out what the means are of these two predictors, children and pets. So to do that we'll go to analyze, descriptives, descriptives, there's several places that we could get uh, the mean but this is as good as any and we'll get the mean for children and we'll get the mean for pets. We'll press OK and that will come out in an output file which will give us the mean for children and pets. So now we just have to recompute the children and pets variable uh, so that it is mean centered. So to do that uh, we can do that through the point and click menu by going transform compute new variable. Uh, we can name it uh, whatever we like but we'll just call it uh, for now centered pets. We'll go ahead and do pets first and the new variable will simply be pets and we're going to uh, to mean center it subtract the mean for pets which is 1.9600 so I want to get this as precise as possible so I usually will copy it from the actual output and now we should get a new variable we could paste we could paste it into a syntax file but for now We'll stick to the point and click and click OK and we should have a new variable that is the mean centered pets and we'll go ahead and do the same thing. We'll go transform compute variable and let's we'll clear that out and we'll make this one centered children which will be the old the original variable children and we'll subtract the mean for that variable which is 2.6200 and then click OK and if we verify that we've successfully mean centered these variables we could just check to make sure that the means are in fact zero on the centered variables and you see that they are and they maintain the same standard deviation before an alternative would be to z-score everything uh, we would just uh, lose the standard deviation if we did that it would turn the standard deviation into one but the means would be zero if we turned everything into z-score so that's an alternative to the method I'm describing alright so we now have the two mean centered variables since we're testing a two-way interaction here uh, using uh, number of pets and number of children and the interaction term to predict uh, let's say the stress scale we will need to compute the interaction term which is actually quite simple to compute uh, I'm gonna call this children times pets and the interaction term is simply going to be the centered version of pets times the centered version of children and I'll click OK and then we have the interaction term All right, the interaction term is simply a multiplicative term uh, where we multiply one centered predictor by the other uh, we, we centered the predictors uh, to uh, reduce uh, kind of an artificial or non-essential uh, multicollinearity between the variables whereby if we we're multiplying them uh, without centering them, the, the interaction term would be unnecessarily correlated with the individual uh, components. So in any case, now uh, we can run the regression analysis and go to Analyze Regression. We're going to do a, a simple uh, linear regression here. Uh, now obviously when you're running a re linear regression, there's all sorts of data screening and assumption testing that we'd want to do. Uh, but for this tutorial, we're just simply going to demonstrate that we can test the uh, effect, I'll use that term very loosely since these are 
uh, fake data, but uh, even if they were real, they'd be uh, likely be correlational. But in any case, we'll put in very careful to put in the centered version of pets, the centered version of children, and the interaction term, and we'll have as our criterion or dependent variable the stress scale. Uh, so I'm going to just go ahead and run the regression analysis and we can look at, okay, the overall model is um, statistically significant, so to speak. The p-value is quite low, uh, pr providing evidence against a null hypothesis. Null hypothesis here would be that we're not predicting any variance in the stress scale with these two predictors in their interaction term. Now looking at the coefficients themselves, we can see that, okay, PETS has a, a p-value of 0 0.04, and it seems to be inversely related uh, to uh, the amount of stress. So, so more PETS, less stress, whereas children has a p-value of 0 0.014, and it seems to be positively related uh, to the amount of uh, stress. Uh, whereas the relationship, let's say, between pets and stress does not seem to depend upon the number of children or vice versa. The number of the relationship between children and stress does not seem to uh, be weakened uh, significantly by the number of pets because we can see the interaction term um, is uh, decidedly not statistically significant. Uh, so we would need to follow this particular analysis up. Uh, with a simple slopes analysis or some, some method of probing the interaction because we're going to declare uh, for the purposes of this example that there is not an interaction. Uh, th this um, That basically concludes uh, the test for now uh, where hopefully you have learned something with regard to how to compute interaction terms and mean center variables. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did.